Hello everyone, this is Jess and today I have wonderful news for some and terrifying news for others. Today I learned that they will be making a documentary on the books Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. There are three books in that series and for those of you who remember what they are, they're scary stories. Um, they're uh, a short stories compiled into three different books. They have wonderful artwork, and I'm telling you this artwork, when you see it, you know it, and you will know it for the rest of your life. Um, aside from the shocking artwork being terrifying alone, the stories inside of the books are just as chilling, and I honestly can't wait for this documentary. Um, I know I've been uh, a fan of the books for a very long time. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's you must be living under a rock or never ever want to look at scary stuff ever. Um, I remember first seeing the book when I was younger and I think I was in fourth grade, I believe, third or fourth grade around that time, and we had a small bookshelf. Um, Maybe it was a couple of bookshelves in the back to make like a, a faux library, if you will. Um, so you could read during uh, the reading month or during your free time after your homework and whatnot. And um, after a while, being kids, uh, we've kind of destroyed the pile and organization of the books. And one day I was looking through and I find this mangled book with this creepy skeleton zombie clown looking guy in the front of the in the front of the cover and the book is mostly black with the white and semi-colored photo in the front of it and i looked at it and automatically it just drew my attention i wanted to look at it it was terrifying and creepy and you know i didn't really want to read it because at this point i'm just looking at the pictures and how detailed and gruesome and intense this artwork is and a lot of people remember it mostly for the artwork because the artwork is almost terrifying enough in itself as a story alone uh, but if you indulge in the book I guess uh, as I did as I got older and uh, had more interest in reading things like that um, the stories were pretty intense and very well thought out uh, the book after, I believe after that was the number one book banned in most schools, if not all of them. Um, the books are by Alex Schwartz, I believe. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm slaughtering his name and you're telling me the correct pronunciation, but excuse me. Um, I enjoy the books, and with this documentary coming out, uh, which I found out through iHorror.com, I will be putting the link in the description box below so you can check out more. Um, and I watched a brief video, and it was basically just other people telling what I told you, and I don't blame them because this book is amazing as its own in the artwork, let alone the stories itself. Um, so I definitely recommend you check it out if you're interested in scary stories or if you just want to look at the art to see what everybody else is talking about. Um, and what I thought that it was going to be, because all I saw was in the title was the Scary Stories book is getting a movie, and I thought they were going to reenact some of the stories and the book which is something I've wanted to do for a very long time, but I'm just now figuring out uh, film work and any sort of photography or editing skills at all. Um, so I'm actually thinking about it. Um, I might do it sometime in the next year. Um, definitely not this year. I don't have the materials that I would need for that or the people. Um, but if you would like to see me try something like that, I would absolutely love to because those books are just amazing in its own. Um, but that's all I have for you right now. Uh, definitely check out more. And if you haven't read the books, please go look them up. I guarantee they're on Amazon. Or if you go to any Barnes & Nobles or Books A Million or whatever, you can definitely find them there. I am not endorsing the book. I'm not getting paid by any of it. I wish. 
but no, but I'm just saying, like, for your curiosity and the immense impact that this book has brought out, I definitely recommend it 100%. Even if you don't like scary stories, read it with other people, definitely. <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderfully spooky day and go read the book, Reading's Good For You. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter.